Okay, so <laughs> I got a song through for you guys that um, it just came into my head as I was thinking about your reading, and it's Foo Fighters <laughs> called Walk. So uh, how does it go? A million miles away, you're signaling the distance every time that I return. So it might be that you're fighting with someone, or there may be distance, or there's a million miles away, a million miles away. You're signaling the distance every time that I return. So there might be some kind of distance or like return or conflict with walking away or return. Okay, something like that. But look up that song. Uh, it's called Walk by the Foo Fighters and The Pretender. I think there's another one. But anyway, let's go on. So this is your cluster reading, okay? So this is for the first half of May. I do apologise it's late. I'll probably list it as the seventh until, but we'll see, but it's kind of generalised, okay? So the first card, the outer environment. Okay, so you've got the card of Pisces, but delay. So you might be wanting to tell, like this is like a Pisces that could have hecklers, uh, but this is like, listen, I want to tell you something, but why, or things are literally stuck. This is the outer environment of what you've manifested, which is, well, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place now. I am literally just fucking here waiting, <laughs> waiting. So you might be wanting to also, or someone might be wanting to tell you, well, why I think so stuck. Or this might be literally that you want to tell a Pisces, well, why well, I just need to tell you something or like, but shout something like so someone might have like a crowd gathered. A Pisces might have a crowd around them or something like that. Um, but this is like virtually... In your environment, what you've manifested is pretty much where you are now, which is in a pickle, which is stuck. There's delay. That could mean that there's distance. That's probably why I picked up on the card. Travel, delay, distance, heckling, wanting to shout at someone, wanting to scream at someone about, well, why are things delayed? Why are we not talking? Well, I'm going to tell you then why we're not, or I, <laughs> or I want to tell you. But this is delay. This is also things that are hidden. This is also turning your back. This is feeling pretty much uh, in your environment. Like if it's to do with work and career and finances, there's something that's delayed. Money's delayed. You feel like you just can't fucking move. You can't budge. You are pretty much in a jam. <laughs> You're in a jam. You just feel like, well, nothing ever really goes right. Why do I always feel stuck in this same situation one with the same person, but where do I, why do I still feel stuck generally in life? Well, <laughs> it might be because you, it depends on where it is in your chart. Leo, you're a fixed sign. This can be you or them, you know, but generally things are stuck. Okay, so you've got an offer coming in. So this might be the fact that you want to tell a Pisces because you've got two water signs, Pisces and Pisces Cancer Scorpio. But it might be that you're wanting to tell. This might be like a show and tell. Like I need to shout at you and tell you then that I need to. You need to make an offer in some direction. I need to offer you something. This is an opportunity of though. It's one. It's what you've manifested. One magician. One. You manifested something into your reality. So it seems like it could be a Pisces. Okay. Or you. Or you've manifested the fact that you're stuck. You've manifested, this is what you manifest in your outer environment, first card, karma, okay? So you've manifested things to yourself of being stuck and delayed. <laughs> so, so you're stuck between a rock and a hard place of distance, travel. This can also be distance, walk, walk. Because this guy here is not walking. So it depends, regardless of the sign, this is to do with you, okay? It's always to do with you, okay? So it means that you are stuck between a rock and a hard place with the person or, or energy that you're putting out to manifest an opportunity of that, okay? <laughs> so as we go on to the third house of how you're communicating, <laughs> well, well <coughs> so this is why. This is why. This is the answers to why. Because there are hidden depths of emotion of offers that someone's not speaking about. 
This is like, well, I have hidden depth feelings and emotions about you, or I'm hiding everything from my past, okay? So your moon sign also, so it also relates to your moon sign, um, but or rising sign or Venus or anything. But this is like, to me, this is like, because um, you've got Pisces, Pisces, or Cancer Scorpio, but water signs, definite. So this is saying to me that there are hidden water elements of feelings and emotions in general, regardless of who's in what sign. So if you are a, a mutable sign like Pisces, they can express love all the time. They can. And, and well, any, anybody can. But if you're a fixed sign, you find it very difficult too. OK, if you're an open, mutable water sign like a Pisces, because you have that here or a cancer, not so much Scorpio, maybe. Um, but still, they can, yes, because it's water of expression of emotion. But this is hidden depths of feelings and emotions. So it can also mean past, that I am shouting or wanting you to tell me something about why things are hidden and emotional past of why I just can't tell you that. Why I can't tell you that. Because things are still hidden from me of my past. You hide it from yourself. You hide it. If you can't express feeling and emotion, it's, 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 you know, it's the funny game of like material things, material, right? Because this can be material because it can be the mother also, okay, of you, everybody, everybody has a mother, okay, or did have, okay, but material things of like, well, what is it that you need? So what do you need to make love? Okay, do you need material things to make love to somebody? No, you just need you and a person that's in love in order to make love, okay? That's why it's called making love with someone that you're in love with, okay? Unless you're just out for a one-night stand and that you may be hiding that from someone, maybe. that People could be a player because that could be what they're hiding. Who knows, okay? But it's just generally what I'm channeling through talking. Because <laughs> this is also like not talking, you see? This is the third house of communication of depth, feelings of emotion, so material things are never important of what it is that you're in because what you are in at the moment is a jam of feelings and emotions of like things about making love would be like, well, we just need to make love to express love. If you're in love, you make love. So you don't need anything outside of your environment of you and them. OK, do you get what I'm saying? So, so we go into the fourth house. So this is like the OK. So this to me now, what I'm understanding is a feminine woman, okay, but masculine woman, okay? So it can be vice versa. You, you don't have to look at male, female. But in this card of a general energy, this is normally like a mother figure that has children, okay? But is someone that is in power, like the masculine of version of the emperor, okay? So when you also look at tarot and you look at energy, you look at the fact that both of these, as a counterpart reaction to one another, are about a power play. Because Aries of, like, the beginning of the 12, okay? So you could be involved with an Aries, maybe, because I mentioned Aries. But Aries is the emperor, okay? So it doesn't have to be an Aries, but someone that holds rank or power or uh, a guide or a CEO or someone that runs their own business or runs their own clock or esoteric or anything like that, okay? Or war or greed or, or anything that kind of thing. CEO, leader, okay? This is also like a CEO leader, someone that wants to be in charge also, so it's a power play. So it can also mean like a feminine woman that has children that has built her up to be in society of like, well, I will return when I won. Ah, uh, well, I return a million miles away because there's probably distance of travel of waiting for someone to come back. Pay someone back, I heard. Pay someone back, maybe. But this is like stabbing in the back. This is so this is good because this is an ending to mind games, uh, an, an ending to power. It should be. So the general energy is, well, you've got the king of pentacles. OK, so let's see. So if you look in this card here, in this impigment here, you've got a bull, right? So it might mean Taurus, but it can mean Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. OK, but it can mean that a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo, OK, is in your chart or... 
There is still someone in your way, which could also be a Leo, okay, because we're doing for Leo, but it can mean as a general energy that someone is still in my energy of blocking my path of moving forward, and it's very difficult for me to move forward on anything because I'm fucking stuck on my past. We're all stuck on a past of losses and gains, financially or emotionally, because this is built up structure of what society gives us to be, okay? So you've got like, to me, two masculine and feminine kind of qualities of the Empress and the King of Pentacles. So it could be to do with like, well, money is standing in my way and I can't move forward because I'm fucking stuck. I'm stuck waiting for someone to release me with my golden buzzer, okay? So because you've got like a stuck energy, stuck energy, hidden, pressed, suppressed feelings of emotions, an opportunity to actually release yourself from this, because the hangman can, you can release yourself from, because this is karma. This is the sacrificial lamb, okay? The sacrificial lamb, okay? As an energy, meaning that there's always something that needs sacrifice in your life in general, okay? In order to be able to move forward, which means there's an opportunity for you to sacrifice whatever is suppressed in yourself, okay? To open up to emotion. Now, if someone can't express emotion of feeling of their past and they can't freely tell you about their past, okay, if they can't do that, that means that they're trying to remain in control and in power of themselves, okay, regardless of whoever it is. If they can't freely tell you things about, you know, what happens in their life and what has happened in their life and they express their feelings and emotions towards you and what you mean to them and that what they would do to you, that means that someone, if they can't do that, that means that they're suppressing their past they're more worried about losses than gain, okay? And that they're trying to gain control and power of keeping a hold of that and suppressing it, suppressing the feeling of it, okay? Until there's an ending to it, which is like a missed opportunity, meaning that you missed the opportunity to learn a valuable lesson in karma, okay? In karma, because you refuse to unstick yourself to release your suppressed emotions. So then basically, well, then the hands of time still go on so you then if you don't do that you meet someone else and where you won't do it with someone else either so you will play out the same role and that's why you attract yourself to a beginning and an ending constantly all the time you know but either end of the scale okay either end of the scale people have to learn things of boundaries and structure of like over receiving and over giving this can be someone that over gives all the time it's kind of like well i'm offering you the opportunity i've i've offered my love to you Okay, I've offered you support and guidance, okay, and I'm offering you that to you, but you deny it. You deny it and then you hide it, okay? So then you're suppressing your feelings of me keep offering to you. So I have to retrieve my offer and stop offering to you because when I do, you just suppress more and then you just, this can be like an appearance of blame or so, where you can blame people, you know? Because of suppressed healings and emotions of what's not being released, because this is family. And this is also talking. So family can mean that there's family dynamics, which everybody in life has or had past. You always concentrate more on your past because you've lived it. And because it's a memory, you relive it. And then if you keep reliving it and you don't learn to release the ego, okay, if you don't learn to release what happens in your mind, you can't create your future because you concentrate more on past which is loss than what it is gain because a loss is something that happened it happened and you have to let it go to stop fighting okay so you have to learn to release to move forward to express feelings and emotions of love okay because if you don't you feel stuck and if they constantly deny that and deny that and deny that and you keep offering them then you have to stop offering this is why you have missed opportunities of why you can't be in alignment with or you've got earth sign, Pisces, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe Gemini, maybe uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so far. But uh, a good spin, this is like an ending to mind games of what should, what it's saying is that there's an ending to it. There there's, needs to be an ending to power play, to power play. Nobody is in power. Nobody should ever be in power. You know, if you're in a car, like I said through the Saturn retrograde movie, so please watch that because there's a lot of good stuff in there. You know, through power, a car, if you was in a 200 pound car or a 10,000 pound car, but you need to go from A to B, okay, where would it get you? Same direction, okay, same direction, and you would get there, okay, if it was hopefully a 
uh, trustworthy two thousand two thousand say two thousand pound car and a ten thousand pound car, but you would still get to A to B. The person that's in it is the person that's in it that's steering the direction of where you're going in the chariot. Okay, so that's the most important thing. A car, regardless of its price, could go out of control at any point because you can't control what happens to a car because it's a material object. Okay, so you can't control it. Okay, but what you can control is your own feelings and emotions about somebody else that's in that car, which is you. That's why you attract yourself to a substance because you suppress and hide things. Okay, so it needs release generally. Okay, it needs release. You need to sacrifice feelings and thoughts and express it to your partner because it seems like someone is still concentrated on their past, their past person, maybe. Past person could be either a Leo or it could be any one of these signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But because I picked up on that of where someone's still in someone's way, which could be the past, or you can't, or you're constantly struggling in life, maybe for people, struggling to fucking get anywhere because I'm constantly turning my back or trying to turn my back on my past of being struggled to move forward, to turn around through this impeachment, to find a golden opportunity, golden opportunity, golden buzzer golden opportunity to release the past to let go stop fighting stop fighting with yourself okay so <laughs> wow so through these cards i channel a hell of a lot okay now the main part of the reading of what is happening is what's happening here right what's happening here and then how i clarify everything with these but the main part of the reading what i do over on vimeo and it's like three dollars the pint of a two pint of milk price of two pints of milk Okay, so they are very much worthwhile watching, okay, because they are also very cheap. But also what I give you over there is what I'm really going to start to put more effort into, hopefully, which is because I will stop the camera, regroup my energy, and then I will ask these four questions of what happens in your cluster, your cluster of soulmate people that you pull in within your timeline of what it is that you're presenting to the world of what you will manifest through this period of time. Okay, so... That is going to be what is going on in their outer environment and what are they involved in. So the person that you're inquiring about and thinking about and worrying about or want to know about, that will ask the question of what's going on in their outer environment that could also be where you can relate it to what's stopping this process. Okay, Because then we also go through questions of and what do they want and need from you in this connection that you have? What do they want and need from you Okay, as a partner? Okay, and then also, what are they learning? What are you both learning through this process of a connection that you have with somebody? Okay, so the lessons that are there. Okay, and then how do they feel and how do they think about you and them? How's the feelings and the thoughts being mirrored between you and them? Okay, hopefully through these cards and me doing that, I can analyse that a lot more and give you a lot of guidance where I can sometimes remember what happened here and then it breaks that down of, ah, well, that's them and that's you and that could well be them that's doing that. And if they are contracted with somebody else through these cards of new vision, sometimes I can pick that up. It depends what happens, what channel it. I've not yet done it. So I can't tell you, but that has happened through the extendeds. OK, and it will be in your bi-weekly folder. OK, and like I said, it is like three to four dollars or something like that. Three dollars. If you want a personal reading, there is an email in the description that you can follow and just send me it and I can pretty much do you the same kind of thing or a Skype call or all that kind of stuff that I also give to people. If you're interested in that, please follow any link in the description. But this reading will be over on Vimeo and it's in your bi-weekly folder. Okay, Leo. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you.